Again, I should say who's not. The point being is that when you pull that knob right here, you can elevate this up and down. It moves pretty extreme. Okay. I'm going to show you two different tricep exercises that can be beneficial. One is very difficult, and it's hard sometimes to get your hands behind you, so it might not work for everybody. So I'll show you a different one. We're going to show the hardest one first. So this is only like one or two weights. And what I would do, I'm all loosey. Here. And if you're able to get your hands behind you like this, you come up overhead. So Nate, this would not be good. Right? So I'll show you a different one. But the reason why this works is that notice how it's elongating that muscle right there that attaches to my shoulder. So that's a good way back. If I can get that muscle to contract, that makes it strong to pull my shoulder down. Do you need to make sure you're standing right now? Setting up right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Standing up. Yeah. I've seen people going like this. Yeah. You can do that. But, I mean, you can do it that way, too. It's just a matter of what your body will allow. Okay. So, as long as when you come out, you're really squeezing it. Notice how I'm pulling my... I'm always doing that with my wrist. Here. Oh. Okay. So that will hit the muscle appropriately and also kind of get you back. So it helps with range of motion. The uh, other way. So I think a lot of people have seen this before, where it's our elbows will be out in front of this. And you're going to come down. Okay. Not as good, but better than not. Doing it, okay. because it still contracts. I'm not sure, but right there, it'll make that contract, which is still pulling back here. So let's try a couple of these. I, mean, I want to see if let's see if we still can here. Huh? People that were after the class last week, remember, we don't want to come straight out. I will pinch. So the way you want you want your shoulder to come out like that. So if you stand perfectly horizontal to it, I guess that's worth That's not the best way to do it. Okay. If I turn a bit, if I turn away from it, I can come out. And that puts me at 30 degrees. Okay? So again, when you're here, that's straight ahead. Just turn away from it, and then when you come out, your arm will be not in that horizontal position. Now, you don't want to come any higher than that. This will cause a pinch, so keep it there. It's not about, it's not about how high you can get it. Especially with rotator cuff issues, we really think of just long tension and slower movement, so we get tension on it. Okay. It's very light, but still, if you do it slow and methodical, you'll feel that resistance. Okay. You can do it. Yeah.